spectrometer in Chandrayaan-2, which was launched by ISRO in 2019, has managed to pick up signals of all major water-bearing molecules on the Moon. This takes us closer to quantifying water content on the lunar surface. Chandrayaan-2's predecessor Chandrayaan-1, launched in 2008, was one among the lunar crafts that conclusively picked up signatures of water. This was possible because of the Moon Mineralogy Mapper M3, an imaging spectrometer developed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, flown on Chandrayaan-1. M3 found that hydroxyl and water molecules are widely distributed in the Moon's polar regions and in some isolated places in the equatorial regions. However, due to a limitation in M3 mapping ability, the scientists were unable to map out all water-bearing molecules on the Moon. Subsequently, scientists at ISRO designed a superior instrument called Imaging Infrared Spectrometer. This sophisticated spectrometer aboard Chandrayaan-2 has now managed to get a better picture of the water content on the Moon. Though this lunar mission was a partial failure, as it failed to land on the Moon smoothly, this lunar orbiter is still intact and continues to send images of the lunar surface. It has been found that the water content could be up to 800 parts per million at multiple locations, even beyond polar regions that have reasonably high water content. To read the complete story, click the link in the description box below.